Hi everyone, it's Fepi Kuno, and today I'll be talking about the Swallow theme. So, uh, some of you might have watched BKC's uh, videos or Watermass videos where this Swallow theme was featured. It's kind of the theme that got me back into the game. Um, and it's a style, it's a hyper offense style that I uh, really like but don't see too much in. Uh, competitive play, so I just want to share with you, um, you know, some thoughts about how I build this, uh, you know, hyper offense style teams. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so um, what's Swallow good at? Now, Swallow is very interesting. It's one of the fastest Pokemon uh, in advance. It has a speed of 125, which means that it's uh, faster than anything in the middle game except Jolteon and Aerodactyl. Okay, uh, but that's not the only unique thing about it. It also gets Endeavor. Now, um, this gives Swallow a unique role as a wall breaker that is fast. So those two words usually don't come together. A wall breaker tends to be bulky. Um, it's just part of the whole balancing act of the meta game. If you have a high attack stat, uh, you probably can't simultaneously have a high speed stat, otherwise you know, you'll be banned, um, banished into Ubers. But um, Endeavor is a move that does not care about uh, the attack stat. It just brings your opponent's HP down to your own HP. So this means that if my Swallow is at like 1 HP, I could just do 99% damage to a Blissey. And that's really cool. Okay, so on top of that, Swallow gets Baton Pass. Uh, baton Pass? Yeah, Baton Pass. Okay, so um, Baton Pass is uh, something that can be used to maintain momentum. Uh, and uh, of course, apart from that, um, it also allows me to pass berries. So Swallow itself isn't very useful, um, you know, it, by virtue of using Substitute to bring it down to low HP and Endeavor, I only have uh, one or two moves left to actually fire off an attack. But if I get a Berry Boost, I can actually um, Baton Pass it to a more, uh, uh, you know, more useful teammate. And you know, I want to use Staff Berry, which is a really interesting berry. It raises a random stat by two. Uh, you know, instead of the more uh, common berries like uh, Pitaya or Salak, which raise a stat by one stage. So, uh, of course, this is a random boost. So, uh, you know, we'll have to find targets that actually uh, fit the bill. You know, they'll appreciate the boost regardless of what it is. Okay. So what's Swallow good on? What kind of teams is Swallow good on? Um, Swallow is a fast wall breaker and so you want to use it on an offensive team. And by virtue of having Endeavor, it means that if it's in a dire pos position, it can just uh, trade it off. Um, so I don't actually need solid pivots. Uh, if something goes wrong, I can just use Endeavor uh, and, uh, you know, Swallow is just, you know, Swallow will go down, but the opponent's also going down together. Um, okay, now, uh, with this idea of uh, hyper offense, uh, fast hyper offense in mind, I want to pair it with Swampert, which also gets Endeavor. Okay, so this double endeavor offense is uh, going to be the core of this hyper offense team that I'm building. Uh, it's going to let me break down walls such as Swampert, Blissey, Snorlax, um, all without having to, uh, all without fearing that I, you know, will be walled or uh, will lack the pivots to get into these. Uh, these walls. Um, now I'm not filling in the last moves of Swallow and Swampert yet. Um, I'm just outlining the skeleton of the team so that you can understand uh, the 
the whole team building process. Okay, so um, Swello, like all the other normal flying type birds, they can't really deal with Skarmory. So I'm going to put Magneton on the team. Uh, technically, I could do without it, but um, I mean, let's just go with it because it's straightforward. Um, it's just one of the options. Uh, I'm sure Swello can be built with other kinds of uh, combinations too. Okay, so now um, I'm interested in uh, the kind of lead matchups that Swello is going to face. Um, now, thinking about the whole chronology of the game is pretty important uh, because it really determines how you're going to play or build a hybrid offense. So against a Tyranitar or a Metagross lead, um, I am, uh, you know, I can switch to Swampert. Now, but against a Zapdos lead, uh, I have a little bit more trouble. So the idea is that uh, I'm going to substitute a few times, you know, two or three times, and then I'm going to pass it to Jolteon. Okay, let's just move it uh, in front here. Um, okay, so Jolteon is traditionally not seen on spikeless offense teams. That's because it's weaker than Zepdos. Uh, it can't um, pivot into Swampert because it dies to Earthquake. And, uh, you know, generally, Zapdos is just a much better option on Spikeless Offense teams. Uh, and if you're looking for some special pivoting, it, you know, Spikeless Offense teams tend to use Swampert. Sorry, not Swampert, uh, Snorlax. But uh, Jolteon is really the ideal partner here. Because, one, it gets uh, Baton Pass. Um, and access a special pivot at the same time, unlike Zepdos. Uh, so if I'm facing a Zepdos, uh, I can uh, absorb the Thunderbolt with Jolteon and Baton pass out. Um, same thing if my Swellow gets a Staff Berry boost, I can actually pass it to Jolteon, uh, which can make use of special attack boost, for instance, or if it's just um, another kind of boost, it can pass it out to a teammate. Um, yeah, so uh, the other good thing about Jolteon is that it deals with Gengar, because uh, Magneton teams tend to be really bad at dealing with Gengar. So Jolteon provides like a you know one-time check. Now, uh, I could have explored Celebi as another uh, baton passer, uh, but let's stick with Jolteon for now. So, um, I don't know what are the remaining moves on Jolteon yet, um, but let's think about what comes next. So, Jolteon is going to attract stuff like Snorlax, Blissey, um, Celebi, and so it's good to be able to pivot then to something that can exploit uh, all of these uh, you know physical weaknesses of these walls and my uh, exploit of choice will be Heracross. Heracross uh, has an added advantage of actually dealing with Gengar because um, I mean Jolteon you know, it can deal with Gengar once, but it, it can't take Ice Punches or Will-O-Wisp um, under Will-O-Wisp repeatedly. So, I am going to put Hidden Power Ghost on it. So this really allows me to uh, set up uh, Swampert, Swallow, um, without fearing that uh, Gengar will come in on Endeavor. Okay, um, so now I talked about Swello using Starfberry, but what can it really pass to? So it must be something that prefer preferably would make use of its special attack, defense, special defense, and speed boost. Um, and the ideal candidate that I chose for that was Suicune. 
uh, specifically substitute Suicune. Now the thing about boosting defensive stats is that if you uh, pass a defensive boost to Suicune, now um, you know, its substitute just cannot be broken. So stuff like Body Slam from Snorlax, it's not going to break Suicune's substitute. So, uh, on the other hand, Suicune is also a uh, kind of slow mon, so it's going to appreciate the speed boost, and if I can pass a special attack boost, then it's just going to sweep for free. So I think Suicune's the ideal partner for Swellow, um, and I think, uh, yeah, that, that would be it. We can start filling in the filler moves. Okay, so if we look at this uh, lineup, um, yeah, okay, so if we look at this lineup, uh, before, before we get into the filler moves, let's just think about the whole concept um, of how this team is going to operate. So, Jolteon and Suicune, they're actually kind of a sweeper pair. What I mean is that uh, Jolteon is a fast special sweeper, and Suicune is a slow special sweeper. So Suicune is tuned to take out bulky teams, while Jolteon is tuned to take out the offensive ones. And um, by this virtue, I kind of want Jolteon uh, to be able to clean. Um, so I'm going to put Hidden Power Ice on it, as opposed to Grass. Now Grass serves more as a wall-breaking uh, uh, function, um, because uh, if you HP Grass as one perk, now you know your Metagross can just break through the opponent's team, but I don't really have anything that is really scared of one perk on this team. Okay, um, on the other hand, if I have Hidden Power Ice, I can sweep through a uh, Celebi or a Salamence, especially a Celebi that has been weakened through Endeavor. Now, um, I don't have a spinner on this team, so uh, if I do want to keep Suicune alive to uh, sweep in the end, then I'm going to need some way to keep it healthy so that you can set up its substitutes and Calm Minds. Um, and chances are that if I'm using Suicune for the end game, I don't need Jolteon. So what I can do is I can wish sack Jolteon. All right, I'm giving it wish, uh, and I think um, you know this combination of Jolteon and Suicune uh, is going to be perfect for the end game. So uh, Suicune. Um, okay, let's just leave this set for now. Uh, okay, what about Magneton? So, Substitute Suicune only works really well if the uh, if the opponent doesn't have Tyranitar so that um, Suicune can recover its HP on the sand uh, and actually beat Blissey by getting enough Calm Minds. So I'm going to put Rain Dance on Magneton. Um, now, this is a specially oriented team. I basically only have one physical Pokemon here. So there's a high possibility that uh, you know I just wouldn't uh, do so well against uh, against Jirachi. So I'm going to put Thunder Wave on Magneton. And that's going to help me paralyze Jirachi and hopefully I can actually um, then go to Swampert and Swallow, uh, Swampert or Swallow to fire off an Endeavor. Uh, yes, I'm relying on Paralysis here, but sometimes uh, that's just, you know, we need the odds to uh, uh, perform best on a hyper offense team, a risky hyper offense team. And for the last move on Magneton, uh, I. I think I'm just going to go for Hidden Power Grass. Um, that's because uh, my strategy against uh, Fortress, um, uh, or rather, 
yeah, I'll have to play around Fortress a little bit, but uh, I think in order not to lose the momentum against opposing offensive Swampert's, it's pretty important um, to be able to cover to be able to cover that, especially since if my Swampert uh, or my Swallow is used to break, you know, Snorlax or Tyranitar, I don't have any more HP to um, to deal with Swampert. Okay, so uh, now let's talk about Swampert. Okay, so uh, now Swampert and Suicune have a little interesting synergy over here. Okay, so uh, as an offensive double water uh, core, it actually protects me against the physical threats. So it allows me to use two offensive sets instead of one defensive uh, uh, water, uh, bulky water set. Now, again, because this is a special offense team, um, I'm going to lose to Kalmine Celebi and Kalmine Jirachi or even call mine Suicune really quickly. Uh, I can't really do anything once they boost the special defense, so I'm going to put Roar. Uh, so Roar on Swampert um, makes me ahead, uh, ahead of anything that tries to set up on me. Um, and it's allowed because I have Suicune to use Ice Beam. Right, so Ice Beam goes on Suicune and uh, Together, I can check men's either with Endeavor um, on Swampert or with Ice Beam on Suicune. Okay, uh, now the last move on Suicune uh, should technically be Surf, but uh, sometimes I like Hydro Pump because it gives me the odds to KO Tyranitar. And, um, you know, if I can't get to six Calm Mines, I can at least surprise Blissey, uh, you know, by using Hydro Pump instead of Surf. Um, I don't think it's that big of a deal, you know, if you make one extra read, you can probably get Suicune in at the right time. Uh, but I've just generally found Hydro Pump to be, you know, to have a, a bit more power uh, when I need it. Um, okay, so I have filled up all the sets except Swallow. Uh, let's think about the possibilities here. I could use a move like Double Edge, Return, Hidden Power Flying, um, but they don't exactly deal with the number one threat in the tier, Tyranitar. So Tyranitar basically walls Swallow. I mean, I can Baton pass out from Swallow, but it's a huge threat. Um, you know, I need Heracross to deal with the special sets, and even if I do use Heracross, uh, I could get Fire Blasted, um, Swampert can get Hidden Power Grass, and I don't want to send Sweep without early game, because it's my Sweeper. Uh, so I'm going to use Hidden Power Fighting. So it, it's going to nail an unsuspecting Tyranitar, um, and also has the advantage of hitting Snorlax and Blissihar. Okay, so what do we notice about this team? Um, the game plan is kind of obvious. Most of the time, we're going to be breaking walls uh, with Swallow and Swampert. Um, or rather, in, in, the, in the early game, uh, we'll be breaking walls with Swampert. But uh, we'll try to pass the boost from Swallow and then continue to break the walls. Or we could break the walls first. It's very fluid. That's the way hyper offense teams work. Um, now defensively, I do have a network of uh, pivots 
for example, um, you know, Jolteon's not the best Suicune Pivot, but with Magneton, uh, with Heracross, I can deal with Suicune. Um, and for dealing with Zapdos, I can go to Jolteon and uh, then I can pass to Heracross on the Thunder Wave. Um, but in the worst case, I can just stay in with Jolteon and if I have to face uh, Zapdos, I can at least Thunderbolt it down. Um, so Jolteon, Magneton, surprisingly Magneton, uh, and Heracross, these are my special pivots. Um, and my physical pivots are Swampert and occasionally Suicune. Uh, and I think, um, yeah, one, so one more thing. Um, because it's a hyper offense team, it's kind of uh, frail, but because it's so fast, I have Swellow and I have Jolteon, um, I pretty much don't let Tyranitar set up. So if, if Tyranitar tries to Dragon Dance, well, um, you know, Swellow is faster than it after one Dragon Dance, it can take it out, provided I have some chip damage. Uh, you know, and Jolteon's also faster, so. This combination of uh, really fast wall breakers on a hyper offense team um, actually, uh, you know, also provides some uh, speed control assurance. Um, so I've also broken the okay. So I I've broken some team building rules here. I've used Jodion without spikes. I've also left the rock resist job to a Swampert and Magneton. Um, now, I'm that's not the ideal thing to do, but because I have Suicune, um, I can at least deal with Tyranitar reasonably. Uh, no. And uh, Aerodactyl is going to be a pain, uh, but we'll see. Um, you know. I'm using Swallow, give me a break. Okay, so let's look at some of the matchups, right? Um, I would say that dealing with recover spam like Milotic and Celebi, uh, it's, uh, it's not the easiest thing for Endeavor users to do, uh, especially in the presence of uh, Sand for Swallow. Okay, so to win these matchups, uh, I'll have to make a read with Swallow to bring Celebi into Jolteon range um, and perhaps try to fish for critical hits or freezes with uh, Suicune. Mm, okay, now then there's Magneton offense, but I'm just going to talk about spikeless offense as a whole. So, Magneton offense, uh, you know, mixed offense, and uh, Porygon 2 kind of stuff. Okay, so these offenses, uh, they tend not to have something that's faster than uh, Jolteon, uh, uh, Swallow, or, or something that matches the speed of Swallow and Jolteon. So the way to deal with these guys um, is to break their walls with Swallow and Swampert. Yeah, and Swampert is devastating because they don't usually have something faster than uh, 360 speed too. Uh, so Swampert is very likely to take out uh, one and a half months if we get it right. Um, and from there, uh, Jolteon or Suicune um, can basically sweep. Um, the notable exception is, Her is uh, Gyarados, because Gyarados is... Uh, it, I, I mean, I don't have a pivot into Gyarados. I just have to try my best to wear it down. Uh, you know, maybe roar it out with Swampert if it doesn't have Taunt. Um, yeah, there are no good answers, but I'm willing to live with it. Okay, uh, what about TSS? So, I have the mons to remove Skarm and Gengar. Uh, Gengar with Heracross, if you remember. 
Um, so I think um, yes, with Skarm and Gengar removed, um, the double endeavors, uh, Swampert and Swallow can trade with Blissey and Swampert. So that uh, effectively results in uh, Jolteon or Suicun, uh clean. Okay, um, let's see. Uh, yeah, Pursu Tarantar, you know, with spikes. Um, it's pretty much the same concept uh, as uh, Skarmbliss TSS, how you deal with it. Now, um, Spike Stack, this is quite troublesome for the team because it results in really messy... Uh, it, it basically completely nullifies the, the way we use the endgame. Uh, the, the way we set up Suicune for the endgame, I mean. Um, that's because it's so offensive, Suicune doesn't really have time, it's going to be roared in. Uh, so uh, every Pokemon is valuable here. Uh, sometimes even Magneton, um, especially in dealing with the double electrics. Uh, yeah, it's, it's just going to be really messy. Uh, and... Duck Trio. Uh, well, the great thing about Duck Trio is that some of these teams actually uh, don't use sand. So even though it's difficult to break past Suikun, you have to endeavor it down. Um, at least, uh, you know, if Magneton gets uh, trapped and removed by Duck Trio, you don't need to set up sand. Uh, sorry, you don't need to remove sand in order for. Suicune to sweep. And Suicune is generally pretty good at uh, uh, breaking down these teams uh, once the Calm Mind users are out of the way. Um, now, these balance teams, they're mostly slow. Well, I, I wouldn't say slow, but uh, certainly not like, you know, 360 level. So, uh, you pretty much try to bring them down the same way as Skarmbliss uh, TSS, uh, you know, breaking the walls with Swallow and Swampert. Okay, so that's basically it for matchups. And uh, let's take a look at some games. Okay, so uh, I led it to 1 500 with this, uh, but I'm just going to show you two games uh, that I think were really fun uh, and really illustrate the uh, the way to play this Swallow team. Okay, so this is a game with Melee, good friend, and Melee, Mela, yeah. Um, so, Lee Skarmory. Okay, now the thing is, usually I would uh, substitute thrice or twice on Swallow uh, before uh, Baton passing out. That's so that uh, when I get into an emergency situation, um, I can actually use Endeavor. You know, I don't have to be worried about getting roared out, that kind of stuff. But since Melee let Skarm, um, I'm forced to go to Magneton T1 uh, to remove it, which means uh, you know, I need to bring Swallow in at some point again. And so, now, uh, I'm going to make a read here. Uh, I think Tyranitar is not going to use Rock Slide or Focus Punch. Um, that's because uh, I'm basically using Hyper Offense. Magdon has removed Skarmory. Uh, I don't have the best reason to keep Magneton alive. Uh, so, I mean, okay, actually, yes, I would like to use Rain Dance later on, but uh, for now, you know, from his point of view, probably there isn't a good reason. So I think he's not going to use any of those moves. I want to go back to Swallow on the anticipated Earthquake, um, you know, to get my HP down low. But uh, he's a special tar, he Fire Blast. Okay, that brings Swallow to Berry range. Fortunately, it boosts my attack. Uh, and now I bait and pass to the only Heracross 
the only physical threat um, on my team. And this attack boost really helps me here uh, to just hit whatever comes in. I mean, at this point, it's looking like it could be a uh, Skarm Jira TSS, but I, I don't know. Um, so it, he quickly reveals Skengar, and now I have a much easier time taking it out because um, it's going to be less easy for him to pivot around, and I can just remove Gengar with uh, HP Ghost. Okay, so Zapdos comes in, and I go to Jolteon, the unrevealed Jolteon, which is really nice here. Um, you know, on a Spikeless Offense team, you're not expecting Jolteon, but now I have Jolteon, so I get the Volt Absorb recovery. Okay. Um, so, I just directly T-Bolt the Zapdos because uh, you know even if he goes to Jirachi at least I'm getting some damage done it's not like a Blissey which takes basically zero uh, and uh, he has seen my hair across so he might not want to fire off uh, T-Wave so Magdalene comes in and uh, I think at this point um, his last is a Swampert. Uh, you know he needs a he needs another Rock Resist that uh, can deal with Tyranitar. He doesn't have one revealed right now, so I'm just going to hard HP Grass him. All right, I catch the Swampert. Okay, he goes back to Jirachi. Okay, so. Whether willingly or, not, or unwillingly, he has trapped himself. Uh, and remember, uh, I said that Jirachi, or rather Celebi, but applies for Jirachi too. Jirachi is one of these things that's really annoying because of its ability to continuously heal with Wish and Protect. So uh, that's where Thunder Wave Magneton really helps. Um, Okay, so I fire off the Thunder Wave, and my plan at this point was to use Rain uh, to clear up Sand so that Swellow at 4% uh, can come in without dying to Sandstorm. This is um, important to make the best use of Swellow, and uh, you know. I wouldn't have been able to do this without Rain Dance, but as you see, um, I kind of crit Jirachi. And now, because I crit Jirachi, uh, yeah, I don't have to actually send Swallow in anymore, so that's a pity. Um, but we have seen how Swallow has passed the boost from her to Heracross and gave me a much easier time versus Gengar. Um, you see, if Heracross did not get the boost, then uh, you know it would have been easy for him to avoid uh, the KO by going to Zapdos. But he was forced to stay in with Gengar, and Gengar is down. Um, yeah, so he has Tyranitar uh, remaining. Uh, a good play by him to go to zip those. Uh, you know, I have no choice but to dry BP out and sack my Swellow. Uh, but uh, it's pretty much over from here. Uh, because I can uh, just send my waters in, um, and and Deva Swampert should be able to take out the rest of his team. 
uh, yeah, Swampert or Suicune. Uh, that's right. Yep, okay. So 1500 with Fellow, that's nice. Okay, so this is a game that I want to show you. Uh, the second game, um, and it's against R Sun 32, who is not R Sun 23. Now, uh, he's a really good player, a friend of mine. You might be able to recognize him from the way he speaks and the sets, but I'm not going to reveal that today. So let's dive right in. Right, so Lee Jirachi indicates to me that uh, I mean, it could be a number of archetypes, could be special offense, could be some weird Porygon 2 stuff. But I'm just going to do my 3 substitute thing with Swallow to get into Endeavor range. Okay, so as I've said in the previous game, I'm weak to uh, Jirachi, especially with the Wish variants. So I'm just going to go to Magneton uh, to paralyze him. And. Uh, after that, I can try to set up Majorachi or something. Okay, so he brings us in. He brings in his Gengar, and theoretically, my Heracross is supposed to remove Gengar. But if I'm looking at the Jirachi lead, and then I see a Gengar, this makes me think that this is some kind of special offense team, and. Special offense teams all come with Dark Trio, so it would be absolutely easy uh, for him to switch to Dark Trio here. Um, so, so I don't think I'm going to uh, use HP Ghost. I'm going to try to make the the read, and indeed I do succeed in making the read, but you know Mega Horn just misses like ninety percent of the time. Okay, so this is really. Um, this is really difficult for me now because if this is a special offense, um, it could be a rain team, it could be a Raikou team, um, I don't know. Uh, but uh, the rest of my team is made of uh, frailer uh, special offenses, uh, stuff that can't set up. So I'm in a real losing position now. Mm. It doesn't help that I miss the hydro pump. Uh, Okay, so mean look Gengar, that's telling me that you know it's maybe a you know one, two, zero attacks Gengar, even maybe. Uh, and um, that means that eventually I'll be able to send in Swampert on the Gengar, probably. Uh, uh, but we'll we'll have to wait to see. Um, so now I get the the Jirachi in, but I can't really do Anything to Jirachi with Jolteon, especially if it has, uh, especially if it has Wish. Now, I mean, it could very well be just a four attacks uh, dynamic punch kind of thing, um, but I'm not taking chances. You know, these kinds of Jirachis, uh, they aren't, they don't do too well versus Suicune, so that's where I'm going, because you know, can't they can't break the calm mind. Okay, so seeing the Zapdos was kind of, uh, I mean, it's not entirely what I was expecting, uh, but, you know, I'm really losing right now uh, because I've revealed my Jolteon um, and there's always the possibility that, you know, he would just Thunder Wave my Jolteon and uh, KO it with Duck, uh, then I would have absolutely lost. Um, so I decided to just go for the trade. Yeah, I kind of performed the trade thinking, um, you know, there's a possibility that he would just fire off that Thunder Wave, in which case I still keep Suicune at full HP. Uh, 
But um, now with Suicun gone, uh, it's going to be difficult for me whatever I face regardless. Um, Ludicolo is one of the worst things to face now. Uh, fortunately, um, I have Roar on Swamp Bird, so that's going to keep me alive for a while. And, uh, well, not for long, but, um, you know, it's what I need to be able to force things out to bring my Swamp Bird to low HP first, uh, so that by the time rain clears, I can at least try to get uh, a win out of this, uh, get, a, get an out out of this, I mean. Okay, so now I'm just roaring around because uh, I do not ever want Ludicolo coming in again. Yeah, so see, the, the thing here is uh, I wanted to switch because I thought that for Ludicolo to come in on Swampert would be pretty disastrous uh, and I thought uh, if his Gengar you know, is a mean look Gengar, it's probably not carrying like Fire Punch uh, so I could try to make the read on Ductrio uh, which I do, but I think his Ductrio might have been EV to survive like Blissey's Ice Beam so I don't exactly KO it uh, now the good thing about the Dark Trail Revenge is that uh, you know I now have the momentum, so I can do whatever I want. Uh, but it's not the right time for me to uh, bring out the berry yet. I felt um, because uh, uh, I didn't feel like I was exactly going into end game. Uh, and also, uh, Gengar is just there walling me. Um, I could have, I still could have gone for the berry, uh, but I think, uh, short of a special attack boost, um, if I pass it to Jolteon, I'll just be walled by, I'll just be walled by Jirachi. Uh, so, uh, I, I just want to bring Swampert down um, to do all the wall breaking uh, before I actually get the berry passing. Alright, so he reveals Protect. Um, now this is going to be really problematic for me because uh, Endeavor basically under pressure uh, is only has 4 PP and he, if he makes a right read it's going really problematic for me now if you look at T31 okay so let's let's go back two steps here All right so this is really problematic for me um, you know that he brings in Ludicolo uh, because uh, now if he sets up rain again I, I mean I could endeavor um, and I could force him out again but uh, there's always the chance that you know I roar and then uh, Duck Trio comes in and I wouldn't be really be able to do anything to stop the revenge kill the last thing I want. Um, on the other hand, uh, I think uh, you know him expecting the roar. Uh, he could have simply set up. Uh, he could have simply attacked me. Uh, that's what I. That's what I read. But uh, you know he decided to just rain dance. So now I'm in serious trouble. And the only out I have is for hydro pump to miss or uh, for me to land a crit. Okay, so I land the crit, uh, which is great, you know. 
I lost the Magneton and the Heracross due to a missed Megahorn, but uh, now I get back a crit. It doesn't entirely make up for it, but it's better than nothing. Okay, now that was really unexpected. I mean, uh, Ice Punch, Hidden Power, Fighting, presumably from a lead Raji, I thought it would be some kind of. I thought it, it would be some kind of uh, uh, like dynamic punch, wish, or something like that. Um, but it's body slam, which kind of makes sense. Uh, I mean, wish makes sense in terms of supporting Suicune, but body slam uh, also makes sense in that if you get a paralysis, uh, you know, it makes the job of Gengar trapping easier. Um, it also allows Suicune to just keep using Substitute and exploiting the Paralysis turns to Calm Mine up. Uh, so, you know, it's just like it's just like a defensive Rachi basically with different coverage. Okay, so now, as I've said before, I don't have many endeavors left. It's a game of reading. And, uh, you know, he's good at reading. Uh, yeah, I make a series of just like you know, direct uh, obvious plays over there. Uh, but now I'm really pressured now I'm really pressured in terms of PP, so I make one read and get it right on the switch to Jirachi. Uh, so I remove Jirachi. And now I make a wrong read. Uh, he was probably expecting me just to serve to preserve Endeavor since I can only do it twice more. Uh, well, the roar there was probably a choke. I'm glad that his Dark Trio is adamant, so I outspeed it. So, if you look at this endgame, um, Gengar isn't really going to do anything. Uh, it's pretty much just a Suicune left. Now, with, uh, with all of this uh, PP on Swellow and Endeavor PP on Swellow and Swampert, uh, he could very well just outstall me with repeated uses of substitute and protect. Sorry, uh, just. Uh, I mean, I know that he had substitute in the end, but just saying. Yeah, yeah he hasn't revealed substitute yet, but he's just going to do that soon enough. Okay, so here's where it gets really interesting. Now, um, if he stalls me out, then I'm basically gone because uh, as long as he has a substitute up, I will never be able to switch to Jolteon safely. Uh, and I can never finish him off uh, because all my attacks are too weak to break a substitute. So it really came in uh, at the right time, this, this special defense boost, because now I can survive so you can surf by going to Jolteon. So as long as, so if I can get uh, uh, the Endeavor to break the substitute on Suicune, um, then I could uh, finish him off with Jolteon. Um, well, that's in the best case where I make the right read. But if I make the wrong read, I can at least pass to Jolteon, uh, survive the surf, break his substitute, um, and finish it off with a Swallow Endeavor followed by a Swampert surf, a Torrent Booster surf. Well, that is what I thought. Okay, so I'm just going to expand some Endeavor PPs first. Right. Uh, I don't have 
much PP left, so I go straight to Jolteon. Yep, I make the read here just to preserve my PP a little bit in case it goes for a double protect. Okay, so here comes the Endeavor. Uh, okay. So it turns out that my Torrent Boosted Surf has like a two-thirds chance of KOing him and I get it. Um, which is great because I somehow managed to turn what was a completely losing early game um, into a win. Uh, and that was uh, only reliably possible because I got the Star Fairy boost on Swellow, the Special Defense boost, uh, going to Jolteon, and uh, that gave me the opportunity to break his subs and bring him down to 1 HP. So, really interesting game. Uh, definitely a lot of swingy moments. Uh, but if you think about it, uh, you know, the only truly active mons on his team are Zapdos, Ludicolo, and Suicune. And once I traded Zapdos with my Suicune and Ludicolo got crit, it was Suicune versus the Endeavor mons, um, plus Jolteon. And that combination eventually managed to break this monster, the Suicune without any sand. So, uh, it was a really interesting game and I really enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, look out for more in the future. And if you have any questions about the team, uh, feel free to just drop it in the comments. Alright, 